So, not parking fun. I don't have time to organise my car in the Sainsbury's car park because um, they charge. So you get half an hour free. If you want to stay longer, you have to spend £10 in store, which is a bit cheeky, I think. Um, so by the time I'd faffed around, found a few things, got enough to get next points, um, so it was a bit free, a bit cheaper, and what have you. I um, I now only have six minutes left, so I am just looking for my parking place, and I'm going to have to go straight there, and then organise myself there instead. So we now have a 60-minute drive, which I will show you, and then you can see where I'm going to park up for the night. So here we go, 5.3 miles, 16 minutes. Right, let's go.
This is where I'm going to be sleeping for the night, apparently. Interesting. I'm just going to look at the map because somewhere up here, as well as being able to walk down on the seafront, and I can see the sea right there, um, there is a there's a chapel. So I'm going to fix up, I think, another bottle of water. Now, some of the stuff that I bought in Sainsbury's, I had to get to a fiver. I struggled to reach a fiver. There was nothing I really wanted. Um, I just wanted to get some more fruit and maybe a nice snack, you know? So yeah, I struggled to find enough to buy. So I bought some grapes. Uh, I bought a bag of white potatoes just to boost it up. I needed some anyway, and they're on my next points. Um, I bought bananas. I bought myself... I haven't got any sweet stuff with me, so I bought some white chocolate cookies. And then I was 38p short. Uh, actually, it was, it was 38p? I think it was about 7p short. So I bought the cheapest thing I could find. Own brand rich tea, 45p, and I paid 38p for the whole shop. So, that's that. I'm going to have myself a cookie now, because I think I deserve a treat. I haven't had like this in ages. Mmm. Sugar. I'm gonna have another cookie. Can't help it. These are so nice. No wrong. car organised a little bit. Discreetly if possible. So this is the view from the road where I'm parked up for the night. Out there is the promenade and if you walk all the way up round there in about 40 minutes you get to Morecambe Bay. So that's my job tomorrow. I'm going to save that for tomorrow and I'm going to attempt to get to um, this chapel. 
this ruined medieval chapel or whatever it is. I've only got my trainers on, so no messy walking today. But I think I can go down here and turn left and it'll get me there. It's 20 to 5. Still a lot of people around, I have to say. Oh, these benches are to people. Oh, that's nice. All these benches have been dedicated to people. And there's the sea through there. There's quite a lot of people walking around, so there's going to be quite a lot of stop start. But, um, this is just a time killer, really, more than anything. The Eco Coastal Garden. This is pretty. Net of hope. Oh, have net fishing. That's interesting. I'll try and get some information about that and put that up on the screen. Look, a bee house. Lovely when people take pride in the places. Excuse the weeds, we are feeding the bees. That's really nice. This is so pretty here. Look at this. Go this way. Um, no idea where this chapel is. Apparently, that used to be open, even no longer is. I want to go up this way. Look at these little houses. How cute are these? Two little streets and to walk up this way. Which might get me where I need to be. Church fitted shops. Oh, there we go. Well, we wanted the church, didn't we? Ooh, look at this. Just 
see the sea through the buildings. little houses. Oh, look at that green one. Look at that. I don't know if I can get in. Oh, yeah, it seems to be open at the moment. I love a churchyard. Parking the 10 till 4. It do like a churchyard. So this is St. Peter's Haitian. Look at all the names, it look very different to the names I'm used to seeing. Pretty little church. Look at that. Secret gardens everywhere. <laughs> this place is lovely. Looks like all the children have drawn all the signage. Now, this is a place. to spend your eternity. Look at this view of the sea. Oh, I can smell the sea. I don't have any genealogy connections to this part of the world at all. That might be the chapel up there I was looking for. Um, So this is me just having a wander, really. Oh. I don't know anything about that. I'll have to look that up.
camera strike. Let's go to the chapel. Lots of people up here, so I'll be careful about filming. This is interesting. are rock cut graves. Wow. Look at those. Oh, lost a bike down there. the ferry port that I saw from the car lane car park and there's a ferry coming in there Sunset is right in front of me. Sorry, you left bed with it. So I'm just waiting for the sun to go down. I've had some more food. <coughs> And 
try not to have anything to drink because trying to go to the loo in your car, especially a small car, is not easy. There's nowhere I can nip out in the middle of the night and just have a quick wee, you know. So I brought my necessary indoor bottle. Bottle and funnel, that's what I use. Um, it's very busy here. I am right on the route down to the promenade and up to the very lovely St Peter's Chapel and it seems like everybody from Haysham comes for a walk here in the evening. So many dog walkers, groups of kids, couples, people just out for an evening stroll and having a chat with a friend, that sort of thing, lots of runners. It's no surprise of course. Um, so I'm just waiting for all that to die down and hopefully it'll be um, quiet tonight. I don't have a, a perfect view of the beach. I'm screened a little bit by um, hedges and stuff so hopefully it won't be too windy. I feel a little bit like um, I'm a bit obvious here. I ran out of things to do, so I've been back here since about, I don't know, what's the time now? The time is seven o'clock, so I've been back here probably since about twenty past six. Um, I ended up doing a lot of mileage. What did I do today? I have already had a look. Um, so, in total today, I have walked 8.17 miles. I've done just short of 20,000 steps and the total walking the total walking done is about three and a half hours. It's not been hard walking I have to say but plenty of it and that's good. I've just been grazing on a picnic food today. Homemade bread. Yes I had another cookie. I'll eat the others tomorrow. I've had some grapes. I had a what else did I have? I had a little bit more of that bread with um, with the hummus because that needs to be gone at some point tomorrow. Um, and that should probably tide me over for the night. I haven't eaten a huge amount. So I'm just waiting for the sun to go down. It doesn't get dark till about half eight, so I've still got about an hour and a half to go. But the people are starting, just starting to disappear now. It's just the edge has just gone off it. There's still a few people around, but not as many. It's pretty windy here, but it's not cold. I'm just going to have a look at the weather report. It's going to be a clear night tonight. Temperature's going to be pretty good. It's not going to drop below 17 tonight, so hopefully I won't be cold. And I haven't really finished putting the bed together because I'm waiting till it goes dark. Um, I had to pull some of the bedding up to get to the cool box again because that forms part of the bed because it fills up the front footwell in the car. And then when it's dark, I'm going to kind of arrange the um, the duvet on the passenger side and then kind of crawl into it. And hopefully I won't have to move too much. Oh, a sudden swathe of people. Good heavens. There's about eight people coming past. Quite a, there's like a running group, I think. Anyway, so it's about still about 18 degrees tonight. It's going to be by 12 o'clock. It's going to be eight, uh, 23 tomorrow. 24 by 4 o'clock. I won't be here then. There we go. People everywhere. All of a sudden, out of nowhere. Um, yeah, it's going to hit 24 tomorrow, but probably not till after I've gone. Um, I'm not in a particular rush tomorrow. It depends on the time I wake up. I know the supermarket opens at 7. There's a Morrison's. So what I'm going to do in the morning is get myself ready. 
um, pack up some fruit as a breakfast, take my thermos cup with coffee in it, and I'm going to walk all the way up the promenade up to the Morrisons, which gets me up to the furthest point I want to go, use the facilities there, which I may or may not need to use, and then I am going to slow walk around at that end. There's a couple of landmarks I want to really look at. And then I shall slow walk back. And we'll see what time it is. I've only got to an hour and a half drive back. But it is fri It will be Friday tomorrow. So people generally come out of work a little bit early on a Friday. So the traffic might be a bit busy. Schools turn out at three. So I'd like to be back by then anyway, so that I can um, get everything unpacked and sorted and get things in the wash. Um, and I have a, a double clean to do this weekend anyway. Um, got various emails and things to catch up on. I've answered a few things, a couple of texts from my mum. Um, my best friend was asking for photos of where I was, so I've sent her a bunch of those trying not to do too much phone stuff, internet stuff, but the signal's quite good here, so I've ended up doing a few things. But I have the time, and I've just been sitting here having some food, watching the world go by, and I stuck a podcast on. Um, and so there we are. That's, um, that's where I am. There's something really fun about waiting out the time. You know that you're going to be here for the whole night, or hopefully with any luck. and you're kind of sitting around trying to be well behaved, so to speak. I don't think I'm going to be able to wait to go to the toilet. I really need to wait. I've had about three bottles of water today. I had most of it early on, but then when I did my final walk around here, I kind of sipped on a bottle, because I was still really thirsty, because I've done a lot today, and now I really need to go. So I think I'm going to slip into the back of the car um, discreetly. No one will be able to see me. I've blacked out the back windows, not the fronts, but I have very high um, seats in the car. They're up to here, so if I get behind there, behind the driver's side, no one's going to see me. And um, Hopefully that will be alright. Wait until it goes quiet. There's a flurry of people suddenly around. So I've got a street light in front of me and one behind me, and they look a lot like the ones that I had at Keswick, which are the solar ones. But they're actually a lot brighter than they look. Oh blimey, there's a ton of people coming down. The runners are back. Definitely rather them than me. So here's the current state of my car. I'm just going to try and pad out where my call box is, which is just down here in the footwell. The blankets I've just rolled back so that it's a bit more comfortable. It's a bit of a hit and miss when I do this. I don't know how it's going to feel. And using the duvet is a new, a bit of a new concept this time. So if I can, manoeuvring it's the problem, it's vast. If I can get it along there and then kind of get inside it, hopefully I'll be okay. Um,
We'll just have to see how we get on. Right, switching off for a bit. Catch you later.